Here's a focused, engaging deep dive on the Northrop Grumman B-21 Raider. What it is, how many the U.S. plans to build, the advanced tech it brings, why analysts say it matters to China and Russia, and where the program stands on the timeline. I pulled together the major reporting and analysis circulating on the web and flagged the most important sources as I went. The B-21 Raider is the newest stealth bomber being prepared by the United States, built by Northrop Grumman to replace and eventually surpass the legendary B-2 Spirit. From the start, this aircraft has been surrounded by secrecy and ambition. The Air Force sees it as the backbone of America's long-range strike power, a bomber designed not only to deliver nuclear weapons, but also to carry out precision conventional strikes deep inside enemy territory. For now, Washington plans to buy at least 100 of these bombers. But many defense experts argue that the number is simply not enough. With both China and Russia modernizing their militaries and posing challenges in different regions of the world, some analysts believe the U.S. will eventually need closer to 150 or even 200 B-21s to truly meet the demands of a two-front strategic competition. The debate reflects a constant tug of war. Stealth bombers are enormously expensive to design, build, and maintain, yet their strategic value is unmatched when it comes to deterrence. What makes the Raider so significant is the combination of technology built into its design. It has advanced stealth features meant to slip through the most modern radar systems. Its long range allows it to strike targets across continents without relying on forward bases, and its open architecture design means the aircraft can be upgraded with new sensors, weapons, and software for decades to come. The B-21 is also built to be part of a network, sharing data with other aircraft, drones, and satellites, effectively multiplying its impact far beyond the bombs it carries. For China and Russia, the arrival of the Raider represents a new challenge. Both countries have invested heavily in advanced air defense networks designed to keep American aircraft out. Yet the B-21 is built precisely to penetrate those defenses, threatening critical targets, even in heavily protected areas. Its presence forces adversaries to spread out resources, invest in new detection systems, and prepare for strikes that might come from directions they least expect. In that way, the Raider acts as much as a psychological weapon of deterrence as a physical one. The program has already passed several important milestones. The first flight took place in November 2023, marking the beginning of a testing campaign at Edwards Air Force Base. By 2025, additional test aircraft had joined the program, signaling that development is moving forward. Production has begun in California, and the Air Force hopes to have the first operational B-21s ready by the mid to late 2020s. Some reports suggest that the first combat-ready squadrons could take shape around 2026, with larger deployments stretching into the early 2030s. Like any massive defense project, the Raider faces challenges. Costs are high, the industrial base is under pressure, and there is always the risk of delays. But the overall momentum is clear. The United States is determined to field a new generation of stealth bombers capable of flying into the most dangerous airspace on Earth. In the end, the B-21 Raider is more than just another aircraft. It is a symbol of America's intention to maintain its edge in a world where rivals are closing the gap. Whether the fleet ends up at 100 bombers or far more, its role will be the same. To give Washington a powerful tool of deterrence and a strategic advantage in any conflict with China, Russia, or any other adversary in the decades to come.